Good morning and welcome back from my van conversion. It's a beautiful Saturday morning and it's uh, it's uh, 10 nearly, no it's 11 o'clock. It's a little bit late today but it was absolutely necessary to sleep a little bit longer. Today I'm going to install the battery but be aware uh, an electrician should do this kind of work so it's not on my responsibility <laughs> so it's on you. But try to be as accurate as possible with the electricity and you need to use wide size of the cables and not use only small cables just be aware about it and of course it's depending on the consumption if you have only light i i would just go for 1.5 millimeters cable and you are completely safe i had to measure the weight of the car this is what i did and i placed some equipment inside and my conclusion was it's kind of a disaster <laughs> since um, I was making uh, the inside of the van compared to still have a room feeling inside but I didn't consider that uh, most of the equipment don't fit so it's a completely disaster. Now I need to take it out and try to fix it but I think it's not so big deal to fix it i just need to do some small adjustments so it will cost me maybe like uh, six hours work i have some hours left today so i hope i will uh, will be managing it i can show you what i uh, what i mean the first thing is uh, if you want to have a toilet and uh, this is a sheep model it's really big so there are also toilets in lower size but the same white and uh, I have not considered where if it should fit or not. You can take it apart, but I think it will smell. So my plan is now to place the toilet here in the corner. So I need to remove the cupboard again and cut it, make it shorter. And the other thing is the diesel heater. The only space is underneath the bed. And uh, I thought I could go a work around with the cables but uh, I might be going through the roof and the walls and this I did not consider as well so I need to demount some stuff again yeah and and the diesel tank we should be placed somewhere as well let's see what we have here I got the Victron Energy battery charger this uh, should be for uh, going for my power supply from the side of the van 10 uh, square meters thick cable and it will be secured with a 40 amps uh, fuse and here I got the power inverter it's for having some uh, 230 voltage inside the van 600 watt and uh, peak up to 1200 it's for scan bed here we have smart shunt from uh, Vectron it's for Controlling that I'm not tapping the main battery to the car and here we got the scan bed. It's a DC DC charger It will be connected between the main battery and my battery behind the car use its battery. This is about 33 amps It's pure metal you might be maybe protecting uh, with a metal plate behind it so This is the fuse for it uh, just some more cables. It's uh, 16 square millimeters. This will be connection between my two batteries. And here you have the most interesting part. It's the solar charger for monitoring uh, everything. And this will be the main plus and the main minus. This is the connector for my outside socket to a standard socket. So just plug and play. That's all, and I have a fuse box for my uh, usage uh, stuff like uh, fridge and lights and so on. This will be connected here. I have now the battery. Our, where is the battery fuse? Here's the shunt. And here I have an inverter, 600 watt. Here I have my fuses, this is my solar regulator, this is plus and minus, I need to make a cover to it. And here's my DC-DC charger, 
And this is my battery charger. So everything is prepared to connect. I just need to buy some proper tool for connecting the big cables and the small ones. And then I can get started and make a guide for you about the electricity. So, see you next time.